Hello children how are you all I welcome you in this online edu classes Today in this session we are going to learn chapter number 2 using excel as a database In this chapter we are going to learn how to use a form to enter data searching and deleting records in a form sorting and filtering data using advanced filter and data validation adding subtotal in the database and analyzing data with a pivot table so let's get started a form is a window that contains numerous field to enter modify and view one record at a time each field holds a field name so that any user who views the form or enter data in it gets an idea of its content so here you can see this form of worksheet consists of the various fields like roll number names and the score of the students in various subjects like english hindi maths total with percentage form often contains command button and other controls that perform various tasks when you enter information into a form the data gets saved directly in the database We can add a new record in the database with Follow these steps Click on to cell A1 Select the form button on the quick access toolbar the sheet 1 dialog box appears To add a new record click on to new button type the record in the respective fields of the form so as you can see children here i am typing the record in the various fields after typing press the enter key to add the row to the bottom of the range so as you can see children the record which we have entered with the use of form gets stored in the database similarly to search the record with specific values click on to the form button select the criteria button in the sheet 1 dialog box type the data that you want to search in the appropriate field for example type 104 in roll number text box and press the enter key if the record exists and match the values for the fields it will be displayed so here you can see children with the roll number 104 the name of the student stored is kriti with the various marks in her subjects so to delete a particular record you need to again click on to the form button in the sheet 1 dialog box move to the desired record by either clicking find preview or find next button after selecting click on to the delete button a dialog box appears which will display to delete the record permanently click on to okay button 
you will see that the selected record will be deleted from the worksheet. Now to find out the total of the marks of the various subjects you need to select the range of data which you want to find the total of it then click on to home tab from the editing group select sum function in the auto sum drop down menu you will get the total of the respective marks in the total field similarly you can copy down the formula to the rest of the fields So as you can see children, we have got the total of the subjects marks here. To get the percentage, you need to copy the percentage formula for the other fields. So you can see that the percentage column is filled with the percentage marks of the students in various subject so now let us learn how to do sorting and filtering sorting means arranging the data either in an ascending order or descending order let us take another sheet now So here you can see the sheet 2 consists of the various fields like name, department, designation and salary. To sort the data, select the range of cells. Click on to home tab. In the editing group, select the sort and filter drop down menu. Select the field on the basis of which you want to sort the data. Select the option sort A to Z. So you will see children, the data will be sorted in an alphabetical manner. Similarly, to sort data in descending order, you need to click on to home tab, select the sort and filter drop down menu. From here, you need to select sort Z to A. You will see that the data will be sorted in a descending order of the alphabetical orders. Now, you also You can also sort data with multiple columns. Now let us learn how to filter data. The filter feature is one of the interesting feature of Excel which helps you to display only those records that meets the specified criteria and hide rest of the records. To filter a data you need to select the range of cells like I have selected row number 1. Then click on to the home tab. In the editing group you will find sort and filter drop down menu. In this you need to select filter option. Small arrow will be added in the column headers. These arrow are used to specify condition to filter data. Click on to the arrow next to name. Uncheck the select all 
check box now select the check box of the values which you want to see and click on ok button you will notice the list gets filtered and display only those record that you want to see and it will hide the rest of the records to clear the filter you need to again click on to the small arrow in the column header and select all check box has to be checked you will notice that the list which is hide is displayed again in the screen now let us see the use of advanced filter feature in excel 2016 advanced filter option is used to filter the data in multiple fields using specified criteria it is also used to copy the filtered records to a different location or to find unique records for using advanced filter feature you need to insert at least three blank rows so by clicking on to the row number and doing right click with your mouse pointer you can insert the blank rows we need to insert three blank rows so you need to follow the same steps three times and now the criteria range must have the column labels that is name department designation and salary so children you need to copy down these four column labels and paste it in cell a1 and now we need to type 10000 in the salary column label after this you need to click on the cell within the data range then select the data tab and choose advanced button in the sort and filter group you will notice the range is already defined in the list range and now define the criteria range box by entering the reference of the criteria range including the field name so by selecting the cells you can easily define the criteria range and now define the range of the target location where the filtered rows will be copied in the copy to box that is you need to check on the copy to another location box and you need to define the copy to references after this click on to the okay button so children you can see that the data will get filtered according to the specified condition and be copied in the place which you have defined in the copy to box so this is the use of advanced filter let us see the data validation feature of excel data validation is used to restrict the type of data or value that users enter a cell let us use data validation to restrict the data entry to whole numbers between the range like 5000 to 8000 in the 
salary column label. For this, you need to select the cells range and now click on to data tab. In the data tab, you will see data validation option in data tools group. Now click on to settings and select the data value range between minimum range is 5000 and maximum range is 8000. After this click on to error alert tab and type the error message like input is wrong or the data entered is wrong. After this press the OK button. And now let us fill the new record by clicking on to the form button in the quick access toolbar. Click on to new tab and now enter the record like it is shown here. So children as you can see when we enter the record beyond the specified limit in the selected range an error message will be displayed like let us enter the record in the salary range like 12,000. So as it is beyond the specified limit so it will show the error message after pressing the enter button. Now click on to the retry to enter another values in the cell. Now let us let us enter a new record once again. With data range which is under the limit of 5000 to 10,000 range. After this press the enter key. You will notice that the data range will be accepted by the cell. And now we are going to learn how to analyze data with the help of pivot table. For this you need to select the range of cells. First let me tell you what is a pivot table. Pivot table is a powerful tool for consolidating, summarizing and presenting the data. You can create a pivot table by selecting the data range like here as shown and now click on to the insert tab in, in the table group you will find a pivot table option. Click on to the pivot table option. You will see a create pivot table dialog box appears. In the table range text box, the range that you have selected for the pivot table is displayed. And by default, the new worksheet radio button is also selected. You need to press on OK button. As you can see children, while pressing the OK button, you will notice the pivot table layout is displayed on the new worksheet. The pivot table field task pan appears on the right side of the screen as you can see. And now click on to name and drag it to the row quadrant. Similarly, now select designation and drag it to the values quadrant or column quadrant. Let us take this. After this, select the salary field 
and drag it to the values quadrant. So you can rearrange the data in any way you like. You can also change the place of the buttons here if you do not like their placement. So this is the this is the pivot table which is helpful in consolidating and summarizing data in a more presenting manner. So children, I hope that today the things which we have discussed is pretty much clear to everybody. I hope that you will also try the same at your home. Children, we'll meet again with the next video of the same Excel topic. Till that time, practice more and explore more in Excel. Thank you and have a nice day. Stay safe.